And this is Lopez with the right hand, half hook, it's good. Lopez hesitated there. Gets it to Terry. Over the top. And after a little bit of maneuvering, Giovanna Lopez able to use that size, six foot three. Vicky Hall coaching overseas and getting to see some things and having to deal with some adversity that others have not. Lopez with the steal. Peebles is fouled. Can't give away the basketball when you're down like that. Shot no good by Pitzer. Ball is loose. Cece Mayo, some incidental contact, but still able to get to the basketball. And another giveaway by Indiana State. And hopefully a sign of good things to come for both of these programs and both of these leagues. Nice no-look pass from Terry down low. And then Amusin makes it from the baseline. By the way, she started today, scored 14 points for the Tar Heels, so nice start for her in Tar Heel country, and it's been a nice start for Giovanna Lopez here in Champaign. Foul and a chance to pick up her ninth point of the game. Her footwork has been smooth all night long. First time we're seeing Aaliyah McQueen on the court today. Number 21 in the orange. Ephraim, and the three, rattles home. Fired in, and Lopez scores on the other end of a good look from Jedia Ephraim. For either team, in fact, Illinois has not attempted a three-pointer yet in this game, which is something you rarely say after 10 minutes of playing a college basketball game. Here is Terry. Gives it to Robbins, can't finish. Lopez follows up and lays it in. No, they've been okay down low, though. They played tough. Terry. Lobs it in, Lopez, help came, but it didn't matter. She has a 35% three-point shooter last year. Ooh. Lopez. Nice move. You know, that's, that's something we haven't seen too much today. Miles needs to take that shot. Here's Aaliyah McQueen getting some playing time. Ephraim for three, and there's the first tray of the ball game for Illinois. Tipped away, and Lopez with the turtle. Well, it's a terrific part of town, and we're all looking forward to when we can all get back together and gather in, in large groups and have fans. It's so strange to be here in Pinnacle Bank Arena. Under two to go. And a good out-of-bounds play for Illinois. That frees Lopez. Five of her Big Ten wins have come against the Gophers, including Lindsey Whalen's first season when they were ranked. So there is precedent, including last season as well in Champaign. In the country for the second consecutive season. Entry pass down low for Keandra Brown was knocked away. A freshman from Montreal who just checked in. Holmes kept it alive, comes out to Miles. This is just a little sidestep again. The range really impressive from Benzin. Benzin having a fantastic game, 19 points, as Peebles hits a contested two-point try. On the schedule, it's going to be one where that could potentially be a close game. Um, but other than that, I mean, Maryland is controlling its own destiny at this point. Lopez for two. Absolutely, there's a fine line between being confident and arrogant. And he said that she wants to be coached, and that is the biggest difference maker. Even, you know, further back for, for some of these players that you see on the court and how they started. Nice look there for Peebles from the corner. This is Lyric Robbins in the game for Illinois. They get it down low to Miles working against Farquhar. Now they get it off to Lopez for a short jumper that's good. Giovanna Lopez has her first field goal. They're down by 12. Here's Terry off to Lyric Robbins. They go inside to Lopez, off to Miles. 15-footer in the air, good. Kennedy Miles has four. Illinois has cut the lead from 16 to 10. Brooke Moore still has the dribble. Now picks it up, throws off to Terry. Terry inside to Miles, working against Farquhar. Passes tipped. It goes right to Illinois' Lopez, and she scores. They've been outscored 8-2 here in the quarter after scoring the opening bucket. Terry, double teamed on the baseline, picks up the dribble, needs some help, and throws it inside Lopez. Lopez runs it up and scores. Off to Janae Terry. 
Purdue unraveling here in the fourth quarter. Lopez with a short jumper. It's a three-point game, and Purdue's going to take another timeout. Now on the right side, this is Peebles. Peebles behind the three-point line. Nope, she stepped in for a two. She missed it, airballed it, but the rebound went right to Lopez, who gets it to Peebles for the jumper that's good. Kennedy Miles working against Grant. Shot clock at 12. Here's Robbins. Robbins drives. Robbins to the rack. Lays it up. No good. Rebound tip. Lopez has it and banks it home. Lopez. This time able to finish. As again, she flashed open a couple of feet from the basket. You can see they're not letting Elana get in the paint, but some way they got a pass down there. Uh, coming recovered nicely to block the shot. Shot clock at five. Robbins from the corner. Robin. Second on the team in rebounds, and she had that one all to herself in there. Miles from the left embo. elbow gives Illinois their first points of the game. One of the things their head coach was telling us is they need to find three scorers in this game. They know they're going to get it from two of them, and we see another basket for Illinois. That's Giovanna Lopez in the lineup. Great ball movement for Jada Peoples, and the rebound to Lopez. 17 nothing Illinois. They have to take her out so that she can get a break. Right, and Nancy Fay has said we just keep an eye on her. We listen to what she has to say if she's not feeling great. And we take her out of the game. And you were talking about Peebles not being in the action yet. Or right here, a nice penetration, a kick out for the triple. Satterwhite gives her a perfect pass, leading Mott to the basket. Robbins, the deep shot. Chemistry is something that the girls are going to focus on. They're working on that. Um. Feed to Lopez. Turn around, easy bunny for Lopez on the assist from Aliyah Knott. How about the defense there from Giovanna Lopez? She's walled up a few times at now. And in after Porter has a couple of fouls. Now Lopez gets a feed and her second bucket. And field. Illinois into double-digit scoring. 13-point lead for Illinois. Peebles. Kicks out for Odin, looking for a three. Nothing but net. 14-point lead. Odin has to try and get through a double team. They find Lopez, and now a cutting Bostic's wide open. And Kendall Bostic into double-double territory. Odin. Williams cut off. Try for the entry, and it's deflected. Illinois again with the ball. And that plus uh, being exposed to four different systems has uh, really influenced her to want to take on coaching after her playing days are over. Up the center of gravity in the talent pool. Yeah, definitely. Peoples feeds Lopez. Lopez, good feet, draws the foul. Payne Scott's gotten some pretty good looks, just the three-point shots have just not gone in. Yeah. Ooh. Scott had an avenue but lost control of the ball. Now Demila Brown is back on the transition. God, they've been all over the Red Hawks. Almost another Demilah, steal right there. It's honestly as if this is a Demila Brown versus Ivy Wolf matchup today as we get the block from Illinois. Lopez wants the ball down low. She's grinning. Ooh, nice pass to Antasia down low. Mm -hmm. turnovers this team can get closer to achieving their goal of 70 points per game back to you Carson Nancy Faye is enjoying Miami's turnovers Bostic's had a quiet second half and now they're going to Lopez down low yes and the big makes that basket she wants it back now finds Lopez in the post back to Brown and the three is good Illinois coming alive from three as early as this game is both teams have their starters on the floor to start this one. Treckler. And Lopez intercepted that one. Three-quarter court pressure by UC Riverside. They obviously saw the tape from earlier in the season. And Lopez right into the game and gets two early points. Illinois leads it by seven. Anastasieska quickly with it for Illinois. It got deflected. In control with Illinois, Peebles a shot, the two-pointer good, and the foul with a chance for three. Now Demila Brown trying to make something happen. Three is no good, fight for the rebound. A collision of a couple of bodies, and Brown and Nye are both down, but Brown 
Gets right back up and get it. What a play right there from Demila Brown. And back comes Morgan Jones, the hot hand for Florida State in the last few games. Lopez tips that one. Great showing from her so far in this game. Lopez to the corner. Peebles launches a three. Got it. Bostic handles it. Up for Peebles to Anastasieska to the post for Lopez. Shovels to Bostic. Left-handed layup is good, and Illinois is back in the lead. Given quite the bench boost there. Anastasieska on the drive here. Floats it down for Lopez, who will finish it off. <laughs> have to pause and say, Colonels, not Wildcats. Lopez gets her own shot back and puts it in. Out of the timeout, Illinois basketball. Quick hitter for Bostic. Too strong off the window, but offensive rebound for Lopez. She'll find McKenzie. Jumper in the lane will go in. A couple of attempts down there, and they finally convert. Demila Brown will find Lopez, quick up and in. Ah, blocked by Lopez. Yeah, again, like we said before, the first true road game, and it comes in the Big Ten opener. Parks now inside against Lopez. She can't get it to go. One heck of a run here in the second half. Barkar tries to penetrate, kicks it out to Hageman. And, oh, she's on the floor. Into Jayla Odin. Anastasiaska with it. Has to get the last shot up. Loses it. Lopez with it. Gets it to go at the buzzer. Two for the Illini. This line now, I'm, I'm sure she'll end up open. As there she was right there with the ball. But here's McKenzie on the drive. Kicks it over to Lopez. Nice move and gets the two to go. Bostic with the inbound. She finds Peebles up ahead for McKenzie. Lopez, Bostic, goes glass. But Ohio State taking those chances now inside the paint to get Niku Lashikova going, who has zero in the day. Anastasieska, Lopez at the block. Two-game homestand with this one today. Great. It's Anastasieska, excuse me, Giovanna Lopez with the finish. On top, driving in. Anastasieska, as she gets up and in again. So back-to-back -back baskets for her. Jaycott, up top to Marisa, back to Jaycott, who's looking down low for Brigham. Double team coming, and down low to her again. Cutting in, Marisa, but it gets tipped away. Errant pass there from Brigham. Some offensive fireworks here to start off the second quarter. Marisa, driving around a screen. Now looks to get it over the top, but Lopez is there right in time. Anastasieska gets it down low to Lopez, who gives it back to her. Now pump fakes to the left, gets it down low to Lopez, and she puts in the layup. So a little bit of a run, perhaps, here from Illinois. A lot of ground to make up still as it's 51-32. Third in the Big Ten in that department. Now cut down low to a diving Lopez, who's able to get a good pass from Anastasieska. Harden on the fast break, Bostic guarding her, and she'll swing to Terry over to Ellis on the wing. Ellis gets a screen from Waltman. She'll take it right to the hoop herself. Blocked by Lopez out of bounds. Laden has such a quick release that, that it's almost impossible. I'll finish this in a moment. Lopez comes away with a steal to the lane. And she'll swing it there to a Lee and I. And now it's Adalia McKenzie. Trying to find Lopez inside. Has a size advantage on Learn. And Lopez. <laughs> as four players head to the scorer's table. It's like a platoon style almost. Lopez knocks that away and it's McKenzie on the fast break. Down low to Lopez off the glass and in. Looking for McKenzie on the drive to the rack. Rebound Lopez inside. She'll fall away and get that one to go. Three airs. It all adds up to a bigger Big Ten. Download and subscribe today. Sonano going to work again, has that knocked away by Giovanna Lopez. Head coach Lisa Bluter saying the praises of her defense, guarding multiple players through ball screens as Lopez will score underneath for the fighting Illini. But a 14-2 run here over four and a half minutes for Indiana. And a great box out by Lopez right there. Yeah, not being tended to for the time being. So we could hope that is a good sign that she doesn't feel too much discomfort. Brown 
will go right back to the free throw line. More time down the stretch with Cardano Hillary out of the ball game. And Wagner, fitting you mentioned Cardano Hillary in the defense. Wagner, another one of those silent defensive weapons for IU. Swapay so Ambison is checked in for the first time today for Illinois. Lopez off the window and in. Lopez. Good handoff. McKenzie got Goulbe in the air and scores. Two players in the starting lineup and two still on the bench out of that unit, so it'll be continuing to find answers and experimenting with different combinations for Nancy Finn. Seven points here this evening, three of five from the field. And Lopez is one of those players on that bench unit right there. And picks up a shot block as Lopez. And against an Illinois team who likes to shoot the three ball, that they're going to have to make sure they're better about that. But right there, that was great for the Huskers. Yeah, good start indeed. Nice hands inside from Lopez and a turnover. She's a little too wild on the layup there. Try to just kind of shove it against the rim. A good block there by Lopez, though. Yeah, Way to make nice up for the offensive mistake. Yeah, two nice passes from Shelly and Scoggin. But because as the trend goes, teams tend to clean up their play as the game moves forward. Lopez trying to make something happen now and gets the bucket. And panic mode now for Illinois, down 16 with two minutes left. Giovanna Lopez with a nice move. 14 point lead, but time running off the clock here for Illinois. Buckeyes are red hot. They've hit six of their last seven shots until that Giovanna Lopez block. I mean, they've been so good this year. They're about to improve to 10 and one since the calendar moved to 2022. Is that a thing that can happen to a team? Are you the type of person to double knot or triple knot your shoes? Oh, I think double knot is, is, is quite enough. I think that gets the job done. Triple knot's a little, <laughs> a little excessive in my book. Getting her night started with the three ball. And Leiden's this team's leading scorer. But the feet inside. Nice work down low by Giovanna Lopez. Like you said earlier in the game, Brendan, the facilitator of this offense. Drive right there by Giovanna Lopez. But this group cares about each other, and they're willing to not give up and play for each other. So it's all about finishing strong. And her message right now. Nine inside the Bostic. Extra pass, and that goes down. Giovanna Lopez. Now to Scalia to Smith. Alexia Smith floats one up over two defenders, gets her own rebound. Now Mershon gets her own rebound and lays that one up and in. A little over six points a game. But certainly he's got the rebounding and the defensive part. Yes. Yeah. This will be Rutgers ball. Lopez calling for it. Finds Bostic in the corner. The long two for Kendall Bostic. Well, she's waiting up there and she is not being contested. Somebody's got to find her. She's going to get loose all night long. Braves looking for some offense here. Here's Griffin on the drive. Good deflection there by Giovanna Lopez, who's going to bring it up herself. Get some going down low as here goes Henderson on the drive. Nice move there by Henderson, but Giovanna Lopez still able to get to it and block it. Yeah, Shauna Green told us this week, I don't really care what the scoreboard says. Lopez gets her own rebound. Tries again and scores on the second chance. Uh, number 12 in the country, and they just beat a, a top 10, a top 5 team. Odin down low, Lopez again. The coaches did a good job to, to get her to stay. She's from Chicago as Giovanna Lopez. Now with seven points. Shauna Green about to be 3-0 as the Illinois head coach. After six seasons at Dayton, where she was 127 and 50. And somewhat obviously, if she could round into a strong college player, she could be put down low with Aisha Nador. Where the ball's going to bounce, exactly. I'm sure the nuances of particular players and the styles of shots. Tap it in, puts it up, and in the first points. I'll just waste it on 
frivolous things as uh, Lopez gets her own rebound, and she becomes the sixth Illinois player in double figures today. 11 points for Giovanna Lopez. 75 points against LIU, 90 against Alcorn State. And the kids in the crowd, they want 100. The men's side, UCLA, they're, they're dreaming of the Final Four this year. They're that good. Big to big, tap it into Lopez. Everybody having a good time inside State Farm Center. The fans and the players on the Illinois side. Obviously the transfers of Cook and Shoup Hill from Dayton to Illinois and how that process went. And, you know, it's not something as if, you know, you know just not as much responsibility to maybe get the ball towards the basket, yes. move it around the horn. Ivana Lopez, her first points of the game. Hadn't played in the last two games. FAU will return to action next Thursday in Conference USA play as Lopez wide open. You, you would have been happy if you kept your opponents under, you know, 15, 20 a quarter, you know, but now it's it's Shauna Green coming in here saying, hey, here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to do it right. Back-to-back -back excellent defensive possessions from Ollie Davis. Tried to feed it down low. Speaking of good defense, Lopez there on the deny. Shoe pill back into the game. Scoring drop for the Gophers right now. A little over two minutes. Cook with a deep pull from two. That might have been a three and a half. See Lopez feed. Cook says, why not? As Lau with it, drives around a wall screen. Had some space for the mid range, but instead tries to take it herself and gets swatted by Lopez. Green's on the other side with Kendall Bostic. Lopez can do the same. It's right there. Instead of setting a screen, she was just using her body. Mackenzie guarded by Shelley. Takes her to the right side. Ran right into Markowski, but she finds Lopez inside for two. Jayla Odin now with the ball. Gets it to Adalia McKenzie, who finds Giovanna Lopez. And that is perfect off-ball movement there by Lopez. For Illinois, for Illinois, Markowski's back in it as well. And so having the opportunity to rebound. <laughs> Lopez. Giovanna Lopez from the top of the key. Here's Lopez back in the game. Bryant, mid-range, yes. Genesis Bryant has got nine points. The president of the Players Association in the WNBA. She also has a law degree as well. So there are so many things that she brings to the table. Her son Quentin wants to get into media, he told us yesterday. Rutgers will finish this season 12 and 25 and 14 in the Big Ten.